Another way to determine the electron configuration is to use the periodic table instead of the energy diagram. So if you break up the periodic table into these four different blocks, so remember s orbitals have two electrons in them, right, and the p electrons you can have six, d you can have ten, and f you can have fourteen. Um, so yep. Suppose I wanted to figure out what the electron configuration is of the element that's right here in this block. Let's look at that one. I know that I have one, two, three, four electrons in it, if I'm just counting over. So I'm going to fill up electrons into these boxes. And then I'm going to figure out what, what um, blocks I pass through. So this first row is equivalent to energy level one. Right? Energy level one, n equals one, I can only have uh, an s orbital because l has to be zero. So I can only fit two electrons in that energy level one. So if I start here, I have 1s1, this is 1s2. So again, I'm trying to get to this x. My first term would be 1s2, right? That two tells me how many steps I'm taking over. And then in energy level two here, I have 2s1, 2s2. So my whole term looks like 1s2, 2s2. Let's try another one that's over a little bit more. Let's try something a little more complicated. Let's go to this guy over here. So I'm just going to count the electrons as I go through. So I have the first row done, right, 1s2. So I'm just trying to figure out what is the electron configuration for this element over here. 1s2, I step through these two blocks, so that's 2s2, and I finish this entire p block here, so 2p, and I take six steps over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now I'm in energy level 3, so I've got 3s2, just drawing a line over here, and then I have 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3p, 4. Now if I add up these, the, the electrons on top here, I have 2, 4, plus 6 is 10, plus another 6 is about 16. And if I go over to the periodic table, right, element 16 here is sulfur. I can, you know, the number, the, that number has to add up to the um, atomic number here. So again, just looking at this periodic table, I have energy level one, right? So hydrogen is 1s1, uh, helium is 1s2, lithium is 1s2, 2s1, and this would be 2s2. You know, so you're always you're just building on using this periodic table. A couple weird things um, that we need to consider. If you see that uh, we fill up 4s, the 4s orbital, and then 3d comes right after it. So if you go back over to our energy level diagrams, we saw the same thing happening here, right? You fill up 1s, and then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and then 3d. Um, so these are pretty close in energy, and um, but 4s is going to be a little bit lower than than the 3d. We'll see that. So a couple weird things happen when um, some anomalies in electron configurations, when you actually start filling these orbitals up, they get closer and closer into energy. Um, and then you actually half fill your S and then your, your 3D. We'll, we'll go through that process. So just right for now, be a little be aware that uh, some weird things happen when you start filling up these 3D orbitals. But fill up 4S before 3D. Okay, so if you use this block system, um, you should be able to figure out what the, the electron configuration is just based on where it's located in the periodic table, right, if you had this. Boom. And then remember that you fill up um, 4s before 3d. That, there's another, there's the diagonal method you can also use. Um, if you write out the, you may have seen this before. So energy level 1, I have a 1s orbital. Energy level 2, I have 2s and 2p. And then energy level 3, I have 3s, 3p, 3d, and then 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f. And then what you're going to do is, you're, now if you, didn't, if, you weren't, if you weren't sure which orbitals to fill up first, you follow this diagonal rule. So write that down, and then you're going to fill up 1s first, and then 2s, and then 2p, and then 3s, and then 3p, and then 4s and then 3D, and then 4P, then 5S. And you just keep going through this diagonal method, you can keep filling that up to tell you which orbitals to fill first. So there's three different ways you can find these electron configurations. You can use this method, you can just look at the periodic table, or you can use these energy level diagrams right over here, the orbital diagrams. They should get you the same answer. Um, another thing you can do, instead of having to write out, you know, suppose you had an element all the way down here, right? That's going to have a lot of, um, 
a lot of electrons, right? Lot, this 1s2, 2s2, you're gonna keep going, it's gonna take up the whole page. Uh, but you can use something called the condensed electron configuration or the noble gas configuration, where you're going to re reference basically the noble ga gas, where it's full, of, like noble gases are in this row here. So the electron configuration is the same up to this point plus this extra bit here. So you basically start counting at the noble gas um, in the row above it and then just add on this extra bit. So by that, let's look at sodium. And I'll go back over to big periodic table for sodium. So sodium's over here, right? So sodium looks a lot like neon with an extra electron. So we can write the electron configuration for neon, right, which is in 10 electrons. And I'll just write it kind of on the top here, right? So I've filled up this 1s2, maybe. Click the button to All right, so go back to this one. So neon is over here and sodium is over here. So I can write out you know, the electron configuration for neon. Neon is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Right, it has a full, um, all, all the shells are full. Right, so those are all core electrons. Those are the inner electrons. When everything is full, those are core electrons. The valence electrons are the outermost electrons here. So uh, we would say actually the outermost S and P electrons are your valence electrons. So neon has, um, the outermost is that second energy level, so I have two plus six, I have eight valence electrons in neon. Now sodium is down here, um, which looks a lot like neon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then a 3s1. So those are the valence electrons in neon, ne uh, sorry, in sodium. Sodium has one valence electron. And the electron configuration is very similar to neon, right? Up here, this all looks just like neon. So the condensed formula would look like bracket neon and then 3s1. And it's got one valence electron there. In fact, everybody in that first column, um, those alkali metals are all gonna have one valence electron. And everybody out here, neon, all the, all the noble gases, they're gonna have eight valence electrons. Those are your outermost electrons. Everyone in group two here has two, and then over here you have three, four, five, six, seven, up to eight. Um, so the valence electrons, you're counting the outermost S and P electrons, and then if you have a half-filled D orbital or a partially filled D orbital, then those are gonna count as valence. If D is completely full, then that counts as core electrons. Same with F, if F is partially filled, those will count in the valence, but if it's completely full, then it will count as uh, core electrons. So your noble gas configuration, um, you basically, you, you, if, I'm, if I'm looking here, I'm going to go up to the row before and then start counting. So now I have 3s1. Um, let's, there's a, a few more examples on the next on the next slide. Lithium, again, let's look at lithium. So go back over. Lithium is right here, right? It's right here. It's element 3. So it looks a lot like helium with an extra bit. So here, the... This would be helium 2s1, right? So this is helium, this is lithium. That first row is full. You don't really save that much time here. <laughs> helium brackets with helium is not really that much different than the um, 1s2. But again, lithium has one valence electron. Let's try a couple uh, of these questions. So what is the characteristic valence electron configuration of the group 7a, the halogens? So look over at the halogens. Um, let's go back over to here. Halogens are here, um, like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, all these guys. So they're all like for fluorine. What would the electron configuration be? It's a 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. All right, so right. So let's look at, what did I say, fluorine? Fluorine was 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And then if we were to look at chlorine, right, which is right below it, Let's go back to chlorine. Can we write, uh, or we can even write the, the noble gas configuration um, for this one. That would be helium and then 2s2, 2p5. And if it was for chlorine, we would have neon and then 3s2, 3p5. So you can write the whole thing out or you can recognize that this guy is, you know, helium, uh, chlorine. We said that was neon and then um, <laughs> just kidding. This is the same as helium. These are your valence electrons. This would be core. 
So this one would be neon and then 3s2, 3p5. Right, so there's neon, oh, there's neon, and then 3s2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 3p5. 